What is going on guys, it's Curtis here with another Igniting Faith Hot Shot. And today I just want to bring to light the responsibility that we have and that we shoulder every time we share the Word of God or don't share the Word of God. So a big thing right now is people going out and evangelizing in the streets and in the gyms and in, the, in their homes and their families and whatnot and everything else. But the responsibility of the evangelist is not to just get people to say the prayer of salvation and let them go out in the world. That's not equipping anyone. That's that that is putting a target on their back that they're not ready to understand so yes while praying the prayer of salvation is fantastic it's more important that we minister to these people it's like me and cody are growing and we have established this this community on the channel and we're so thankful for it but it's like he pointed out in a text message he sent me that it's exciting but it's also a little bit scary because now we have become shepherds this has become the sheepfold and we have to guide and continue to express the importance of reading the word praying speaking in tongues gathering together with other like-minded people in the church in our lives and surrounding ourselves with the righteousness of god and not just hey guys here's another video thanks for watching like comment subscribe share and then we just move on and we just move on it's not about that. It's not It's not about us. It's not about what we're able to do. It's about what God's able to do. But it's also the responsibility of each and every one of us to minister to the people that we have called into the, the light. And it's on us to minister to the people that we, you know, have decided to, you know, contribute ourselves into the faith. Whereas if you just evangelize somebody and you let them go and they don't get in the church or they don't you know have a regular like experience with god in that manner then you're opening them up to attacks that they're not quite ready for I'm not calling anyone out not pointing fingers and saying anyone's weak but the devil is cunning he is subtle he is prowling around like a lion in the high brush he's looking for things which he may eat and devour and when you bring someone into the into the into the righteousness of god for the first time they are like newborn sheep they're a little wobbly they're a little confused they're a little shaken and they're always looking for that person that brought them in to say hey i have this question hey what do i do here so it's important for us to recognize that it's not just about the evangelism but it's about the follow-up it's about the training and the salvation and I'm encouraging each and every one of us, and if you're one of those people that is out there evangelizing, if you're out there speaking, don't just do it and let them walk off. Invite them into a place of understanding, into a place of learning, and into a place of worship and praise where they are not only dedicating themselves to God, but they're equipping themselves according to His words, and they're preparing themselves for the battle that's ahead. So that's what I got for you guys today. I pray that you guys are encouraged. I pray that you guys, if maybe you've been doing it wrong, you've been convicted and you're going to go out, you're going to fix the things that you've done wrong because it's on us. It's our, we have to shoulder the responsibility to what we have said and to what God has put on our hearts. So I encourage you guys and I thank you guys for watching. This has been Curtis and a Faith Hot Shot. Later.